Apple Basket Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. And this um, basic idea could be used in the spring for doing an Easter basket. So instead of making apples, you could do it with some Easter eggs and that would be very cute as well. So start by um, doing a French, a French design here. So create your smile line with brown acrylic. Um, I usually do a reverse method, so this is a little different for me, but anyways, um, and then fill in the tip with brown and you want to keep this very thin because we're going to be doing a lot of sculpting on top of the brown. This is just sort of your base coat or your base layer and you know, just keep it thin. And your smile line doesn't need to be perfect because we're going to be adding all kinds of stuff on top of it, but it just gives you a nice idea. So then file the brown acrylic to make sure it is super duper thin and really smooth. Um, this is both very important because it's going to make a difference in the end. So then using two different colors of red, I'm going to be sculpting two partial apples. If you've got a wider, wider nail or if you're making really small apples or something, um, you could add more of them, but you want to make sure that your red color varies even if it's slightly. Or you could add um, a yellow apple in there, or a green one, or something a little bit more pink. Just to make sure that your apples don't look like they're the same, so that you can tell the difference. And make one apple slightly thicker. So this is my thicker apple, and it's a lighter colored one. So then this next one that I'm sculpting is going to be a little bit higher, a little bit darker, and a little bit thinner. And the reason I'm making the one that's farther back darker is because it's also going to add to the height difference, because it'll also help make it look like it's farther back in the basket. So taking a very wet bead of white acrylic, we're going to be highlighting one side of the apple and I'm going to be highlighting the side of the apple of the first one that's next to the other apple because that'll help distinguish them some more. And then I'm going to be darkening the line between them on the lower apple with some black acrylic and very thin black acrylic, so mostly monomer, just a little bit of pigment. So this is where it can get a little tricky. I'm going to be covering the nail bed with cover pink and I'm not, you got to be very careful not to cover up your apples, which can be a little tricky. Um, if you were to place down the cover pink first and then put the apples on top, the nail bed would have gotten really super thick and I don't really like super thick. I like to try and keep them thin and this is going to get a little thick anyways, just because of the nature. Um, so try and sculpt it around it and then add the stem with some brown acrylic once you've got your nail bed um, has hardened. So just with brown, add a little line for a stem. And then next to each stem, we're going to be adding a bead of green for our leaf. So then flatten that out and sort of pull it into a leaf shape. So now add a highlight to each apple, each stem, and each leaf. And on the leaf, do little lines for the apple to give it some texture. And then with clear, encase the nail bed. So this is where my reverse French tip preference is coming into play. Um, and you're still going to want to keep this really thin because um, you'll see in the end, once you start sculpting the basket over the top, it's going to get really chunky looking if you don't keep that thin. So then file and buff it, but be careful not to file through until you hit the apples. So keep clear on top of the apples. So now with gold acrylic, we're going to start by lining the smile line. So you can press it right up against that smile line because it should be pretty smooth now once you've done the reverse, the reverse application with the clear. So just with gold, press it up against that line. So that's your first basket line and you're going to continue adding lines going down the nail tip until you've gone all the way down. And as I'm going down further and further, I'm going to slowly sort of straighten them out so it doesn't have the curve of the smile line so much and it gets straight. And this is the part on the other nail tip that I showed in the picture. Um, so you're just going to start by making lines down the nail. Um, you Well, first you'd want to do a brown overlay on it, but then just lines of gold all the way down. And you want to keep the lines pretty thin and pretty close together.
So now this is where you can start to see the basket pattern come. So you're going to do um, lines, uh, horizontal lines now, I mean vertical lines over the horizontal lines, oh geez, um, of gold acrylic and you're going to be putting a line over every other one. So just start somewhere in the middle. I don't know why, but I think it's easier to start in the middle and then work up and work down. I'm probably just a lunatic, but <laughs> you know, either way, and go over the top of one line and then skip the next. And then in the rows on either side of it, you're going to go over the opposite, um, the opposite lines. So as you can see, you're just going back and forth, back and forth. And on the ones that go up towards the smile line, put them over the top and it'll give it, um, it'll make the smile line not smooth. It'll give it sort of a texture to it, which also add to the basket effect. And fill in all the way out to the sides. And since this is sort of a stiletto nail, it's not quite, it's a little bit just a point of nails, not completely stiletto. Anyways, um, it gets thinner towards the edges. And so I had a tendency to try and squish my lines so that my vertical lines, so that they would come to a point and it'd be the same amount of lines all the way down. That doesn't work. Try to tamp down or tramp down that, um, that, I don't know, tendency and keep your lines straight. Cause it'll look a lot better that way. And don't try to do everything I do. Cause it's not perfect. Anyways, so then I'm going to be covering the nail bed area with a glossy top coat. This will make the apples really pop out and look so pretty. And don't worry about top coating over the basket, just leave it be. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like my design. Please share any recreations with me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I would really love to see them, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!